Hey guys, welcome to the first episode of Chasing Tide. We decided to try and catch Barramundi in the burn. Easier said than done. Pretty elusive over the last couple of days. Have a look. Plenty more to come. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Let's get to it. Been feeling good, temperature's good. Wind blowing bank here, nice. Here we go. I'm feeling it. Oh, no, that's just weed. Oh, you f 30 pounds straight through. Oh no. Just took it and gone. Oh, 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 oh. oh how frustrating is that? Got him! Oh, oh I love it, love it, love Look, there's my other one out the open. <sighs> oh, feel that leader. I don't know if you can see that. He had that down his gob. Oh, man. Hello, right, back at it. Come back down for another shot at the title. At the same time, a bit warmer, a bit windier. Hopefully it pushes all the bait in. Barra in the burbs. We're gonna do it. I hope so. That was decent, bruss. Ah! Yeah, easy, man. He's a big, broad belly. Just throwing a little uh, pontoon 21. Like a perro. 80 mil. Last chance here today, I reckon. They're proving to be a bit elusive. The wind's blowing right into this bank. Um, you probably can tell already, and that's generally what a good, I suppose, indication of places to start with places like impoundments and lakes and dams. Generally that wind pushes all the bait, uh, I suppose, in the direction of the wind. And you can see there's all these little pads and 
fair bit of coverage under here and that's just sort of where they they like to group up and I suppose that's why I've sort of tried to stick with this this type of area hoping that something just you know makes enough commotion and comes out and has a dig at it I'm working it quite quickly it's generally been the way that it's happened I still think it's a fraction too early but it's the only time I've got so I just thought I'd come down and spend a little while trying to trying to make it happen most important thing in times like this is to really oh yeah. well as I was saying the most important oh right it really made a mess of this really cover your bases I mean there's a nice bit of lily pad over here which I'll work in a moment at the moment I'm just seeing if there's anything out in the open I'll try and work some of the points over here and do your best to try and I suppose wherever they are bring them out and see if you can get yourself to or get the fish to have a bite at the moment I'm about 0 and 3 I reckon haven't been able to hook up yet so I've hooked up haven't been able to convert which is a bit frustrating I suppose Oi, get out of there get out of there thank you Oi, tip wrapped the wind's actually getting quite blowy now a bit more difficult to you know some nice accurate casts in there but never know i'll work over in a slightly different section in a moment mix it up a bit come on fish i like barramundi and i really want him to or her to have a go at my lure i'm going to say that it's probably too hot for surface at the moment or just the wrong time of day I've got one last opportunity, I suppose. I've got something a little bit different to throw at it and just see if it, um, you know, see if it makes it work. It's not a very big bait. It's not making a huge presence in the water, which is, I don't know, it could be good, could be bad. It's quite a thick, thick stick bait. Try something completely different, huh? All right, I'm gonna try one, maybe two. All right, so I've got an unweighted fish arrow craw here, and I'll just, I don't know, my theory is that there might be some freshwater yabbies in here or something like that. And I seriously doubt anyone would have seen anything like this before around here. My line's probably a fraction too heavy to fish this weightless. I think I've got 16 pound main, probably 30 pound lead up. Just too heavy, I think. Just too heavy. <laughs> Just sits up. <laughs> if you've got any tips or tricks on how to fish or how you fish empowerments with what gear, what baits, make sure you comment down below and we'll see if we can make it happen. It's quite a large weed mat bed underneath pretty much most of this little area here so i'm working it pretty quick and oh i think there's something coming out of this i just don't want to let it fall too deep and because you end up having just a lot of this a lot of that just weed 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 a bit shocking. I think we've peppered it too much. A bit slow, a bit slow, a bit slow. Wind's really starting to pick up now. I think I might have to call it a day soon. All right, I'm going back to the pontoon 21 for one last effort. Great little top water bait. Super, super easy, reliable. Uh, and I've changed those over to some decoys. I was finding it a bit hard to penetrate the wind just with all you know with that light bait so i've just switched back over to the the pontoon 21 loco Perro. crazy dog i think it means in spanish they're a lot of fun i've had a lot of success it's quite an out there color radio this, this is it barren the burbs good luck kiss only thing it's catching at the moment is weeds in itself oh this is getting hard work now Hey guys, welcome to another segment of uh, Talk and Tucker with Bales. Um, 
it's really blowy out here today, so I just thought I'd take you through a few tips that I like to use to make sure that, especially using those top water or crankbaits, um, it just allows you to stay in contact, I suppose, with um, everything that's going on. So I've got a little so a pontoon 21 uh, little loco para on there, a little top water bait working a little um, impoundment here. Uh, I just thought I'd take you through that and see how we go. So let's get to it. Right, guys, I hope you can you can hear me, but um, as you can see, guys, it's actually quite windy out here today. Um, I'm just going to take you through a few tips that I like to use, all right, with throwing top water baits or crank baits, um, just to allow you, I suppose, the opportunity to stay in contact with the other. So when you get it out there, if I leave my bail arm open, you can see that massive bow in the line. Um, I suppose it's super hard to stay in contact with your lure and make sure you, you know, your hookup, your hookup rate stays high when that's happening. So I suppose one of the easiest things you can do is to drop that rod tip and you can notice that your line stays a lot, you know, even though it is bowing, it's a lot less and you get, I suppose, a better sensitivity and a better feel for those bites that are coming along. So instead of ripping it out there, oh, leaf on that one, instead of ripping it out there, and chucking it in the rod holder and letting it sit up like that, especially whether you're in the boat or fishing bait or anything like that, it's really important to try and keep that line somewhat firm and in contact with your bait, whether it's live mullet, live squid, using a top water bait, a soft plastic, anything like that. Just one of those things to remember when you're out in the water. Um, hope you enjoy it. Thanks very much. All right, guys, I think I'm gonna make one last cast and then uh, I think that'll do it. It's been tough. Oh, I just can't see it paying off at the moment. Come on. That's it, that's all she wrote. That's it. Hey guys, thanks very much for watching. Um, I just think it's got me this time. Hopefully we'll come get a bit of time a bit later in the summer. A bit windy today, so it couldn't really pay off. A bit frustrating, but that's what it is, I suppose. I'll just show you what I was throwing today and I've been throwing for the past couple of days. Uh, a little Loca Pero from uh, Pontoon 21. It's got my CI4, my Samaki C12. Great little setup for um, around here in North Queensland. It's been a really, it's been a really tough couple of days. Wow, yeah, look, we'll get it. <laughs> we'll get it. We'll be back on the water in the boat, hopefully this weekend. As always, guys, thanks very much for watching. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. It's one of those things, we'll get there. Really thank you guys for watching it. Do your homework, don't do drugs, be good to your mum, see you later.